Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you and explain you the markers in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So markers is a way how you can organize your whole timeline and your clips. And there's a couple of ways how you can use those markers. So first and foremost, we are in the cut page and how you can add a marker. Simply, you can click this icon here and then you can have a marker here. You will see this little thing. And if you now click on this one, double click, you will see that it is even opening. You can change the color here even afterwards and give it a note. Just write something here, write more, and then you can use this, for example, if you want to mark something on your clip where, let's say later, I want to zoom in here, right? I can hit marker and then even tell this one everything that it has to be zoomed in, I will make with this color here. So for zoom in. This is one way how you can use this. Another way is if you actually look here in this icon, you will see that we have add marker and set color marker here as well. You can also start with set color marker and you will immediately have this window. And now you can, for example, write whatever you want and also change the color here. And you have this one here now on this position. So all of those markers that we just placed here, they sit on your timeline. So what does it mean? If I, for example, take this clip here, drag it up and I drag it to the right, you see it's not connected to the clip. It's actually sitting exactly at the position here in my timeline. You can also add those same markers by just hitting the M key on your keyboard. M and I will have a marker here. If I hit Command M, I will have this one here open. So this is one way how you can navigate them. So let's make this a little bit more complicated. Okay, guys, we go now to the edit page because markers can be sitting in multiple spaces. So not just uh, sitting on the timeline, markers can also be sitting on a clip. So for example, here, I have markers here. And if I click this one here, right click, I can change the color. And then I can, for example, say a marker here. So another marker here. So you see now I created a blue marker and this orange marker. These are still the same like this. But if I now select a clip and let's say for this one, we create a red marker. This red marker now sits here on top. Still the same. I can click this and make notes and everything. This sits now on the clip. So if I change this clip position, it will go with my clip. So we're not done. There's a third way how you can use markers. So for example, if I go into my media pool and let's say I open this one here and this only works now in the edit page, all of those, what I just show you is not working in the cut page, but there's are some more capabilities to how you can use the program in the edit page. So for, let's say you are in this clip here in the media pool, right? So, and double click. So this is here in the media pool. Now, if I hit M on my keyboard, boom, I will have a marker here as well. Does it actually work with this one too? No, this is always applied here. This only works, I haven't found a way, maybe right click, add marker. Yes, you can add markers here as well. So you go to a position, right click, and then say add marker, and you can have a color here, and then boom, you have it in this. Now it's sitting not in the timeline, it's sitting on the clip, right? And now it's a cool way if you change the view here from thumbnail view to list view, you will see now that under our clip, I will have now this drop down menu and I see all three of the markers and I can double click and it immediately jumps to that one position. So if you have a clip and you want to mark different areas of your clip, you can use this one here. So those are the three ways how you can add markers to your timeline. What about if you want to delete all of the markers here? Very simple. I select now everything here and go right click here on the markers and say clear all. Now all my markers here are cleared. If I don't select anything, right click, clear all, all the markers on the timeline are deselected. What about those ones? You have to go in, you can click this one and delete. This one, delete. This one should work with the bin, yes. So you can click this one and go to the bin and it's gone. This is the way how you can use markers, you can change colors, you can make notes, and you can use it however you want to like it for organizing your stuff. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding in the bam bang gong, and we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.